It's already happening. I didn't think it would happen this fast, but it's already happening. Adventure Quest 3D is becoming better than Adventure Quest Worlds. Now, I might have played Adventure Quest 3D when it was called Legends of Lore. I do have the alpha, the closed beta, the open beta, the pre-beta, all the beta badges for Adventure Quest 3D. And I have been playing quite a bit of Adventure Quest 3D recently, but I wasn't always the biggest fan of the game, and I'm sure a lot of people that are watching this video also share that same opinion. Of course, they launched the game in a very early alpha, and I'd argue that to this day it's still in a very early alpha stage, even though they call it a beta. But saying that it's already doing things better than adventure quest worlds now you might be asking like, well, what is it doing better than adventure quest worlds well here it is now to show you what's so good about adventure quest 3d i first must show you what it has been in adventure quest worlds the mmo that comes before adventure quest 3d so in adventure quest worlds you have reputation now you probably know this I'm probably preaching to the choir, uh, but rank 10 is the max rank you can get in a reputation and it takes quite a while for most of the ranks to get to rank 10. Some of them are shorter than others, uh, some take more effort than others, but by and large, uh, rank 10 is pretty hard to get. It's not the easiest thing in the world, but it's pretty doable for most of the reputations in the game. And there are a lot, almost nine years into this game's life, there are quite a few different reputations. Now, AQ3D has only had one reputation in the game so far, and that's why I'm making this video, because I want to address this, because some people might have missed the event where they added the new reputation. It was called Battle on Defender, and you got Battle on Defender gear, including a mount at rank 20. So instead of 10 ranks in AQW, you in AQ3D, you have 20 ranks. So it does seem like it takes longer, because the number is higher, but I think it takes roughly the same amount of time to get to rank 20 as it would to get to rank 10 in any given rep on average in AQW. Now, when you're repping in Adventure Quest Worlds, it's very repetitive. You're doing the same quest over and over again. You find that one quest that gives you the most rep and you just turn that in over and over and over and over again. And you don't really see that much progression. There's not really quests telling you your progression or anything, but in AQ3D, you get drops from monsters. You pick these up and the drops can be random. Monsters can spawn in that have higher amounts of these drops you need for the reputation so you're paying attention to the game you're waiting for the monster to spawn you're camping the spawn location of the monster hoping it spawns there's multiple locations so you have to be looking around the map at all times and it really does add that player interaction with the reputation uh, i see players shouting out in chat when the boss spawns letting everyone on the map know that the boss spawns because you want to kill that boss it really got me involved in the game in a way that adventure quest worlds just can't do because it lacks that third dimension limiting yourself to two dimensions for an MMO is very restricting and seeing what Arctic Entertainment can do with that third dimension really really makes me excited for the future of AQ3D. Now right now it's still in a very rugged and rough alpha state of the game but as it moves on you're gonna want these items in the game right now and you're gonna want the experience of playing this game at a lower level because when the game goes into its later and later states when it gets more and more polished it's going to be a beautiful game it's going to be like adventure quest world is right now but with that whole other third dimension that adds so much more to the game and i'm super excited to see what happens with adventure quest 3d in the future i would love to see another reputation event and more innovation to the artist entertainment style of making an mmo it's Crazy. That's why I like AQW so much. They have a unique aspect that a lot of other MMOs don't even come close to touching. And I really can't wait for the future of this game. Now, whoa, 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 whoa. I just said a lot of positive things about AQ3D. There, I have, I have a notepad. I literally have a notepad on my desktop of things that I really don't like about AQ3D. So it's not all bubble gum and candy in AQ3D. There is a lot of things wrong with the game, but I really enjoyed the recent updates and I can't wait for the new updates. Like I'm waiting for them right now as I'm making this video. I'm excited for them. 
So tell me what you guys think of AQ3D. Uh, leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you're not ready for more AQ3D content in the future. I'll definitely be doing AQ3D content as the updates come out for that game and keep you guys up to date on the news in the news videos and stuff like that for AQ3D. It's going to be more of a focus for the channel as time goes on. As, as long as they keep up the good events. If they go back to pre this update events, uh, I might not have that much focus on it. But as of right now, AQ3D is a really cool game and... I can't wait for what's next. Tell me your thoughts on AQ3D in the comments, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.